This is a perfect example of evil growing when good men do nothing. The Me Too bandwagon is actually a false allegation train. It's an effort to lynch innocent men. And it's been it's going on strong. And the reason why it does is because the average guy doesn't care about the guy next to him. He doesn't look at him and say, this guy is me. It just says, he's my competitor. He's being lied about and I'm not. Everything's all right. That's why. Okay, in a nutshell. Now we'll look at this channel, Colonel Kurtz, and she's going to talk about the, the effort they're putting in to lynch Marilyn Manson. All right, so I don't think that a number of you realize just how big a deal the next several weeks could potentially be. And I think there's some stuff that has flown under a number of people's radars. And so I want to make you aware of it and, and talk about what... It's not under people's radar. People just don't care. You know, all this Me Too evil, it's been going on for years in the public for men to see. So if they're not looking into it, they just don't give a shit. I'm gearing up for, quite frankly. And I'm not just talking here to my Marilyn Manson fans and supporters. I'm not just talking, I'm talking to my Johnny Depp fans and supporters, people who came to my channel because I was covering Amber Heard's hoax against Johnny Depp. And I'm also talking to... Now, there's a couple things here. One, Johnny Depp is an A-lister. And so he had enough fans who were willing to defend him for a prolonged extended period of time. So he got out of this. Marilyn Manson is a C-lister. He, does, he doesn't have that. So they're just going to keep coming after him. Now, the second thing I want to say is, why does she use the word hoax? For two reasons. Because what's going on, this is a prolonged lynching of Marilyn Manson. That's what it actually is, trying to get him and harm him. So she wants to... Uh, de-escalate how serious it is that because this is something women are doing to men so she wants to cut down on the language right make it less severe the other thing is a hoax can be blamed on a particular woman whereas this lynching that says something about female nature in general so understand what language is is all about there's a particular reason why she prefers the word hoax over lies to anyone in my audience who has been critical of the excesses and negative consequences of, of me too there you go so there are negative aspects of me too therefore there must be positives it's a movement where people women lie about men innocent men to cause them harm for no other reason that they dislike men or even hate them. There can be no positive aspects about this. So this is why I'm talking about you guys. Feminism, again, originates from women. There are two types of women. There's the Rachel Wood that's attacking Marilyn Manson. And then there's enablers like Colonel Kurtz here, which is her name, if I haven't mentioned it. She's the neighbor. She's on Wood's side in the end. There are, there are no group of women that are on men's side. And of cancel culture. And really, just anyone who's been interested in my channel. If you've been at all interested in my channel, then I would think you'd be interested in the main thing that I have devoted myself to covering for almost four years, which is the Marilyn Manson situation and Evan Rachel Wood's hoax against Manson. Four years, right? Now, if they had anything against him that could stick, he would have been jailed four years ago. Right? So this is a prolonged lynching. This is a bunch of people trying, a bunch of women trying to lynch a man. Right? It's never ending. And that's why there has to be a real MRM to come out of the woodwork. There has to be something to counter this evil. And it's not going to be 
you know, it's not going to be the legal system. The legal system is anti-male. The media is anti-male, which is going to be, you're going to see this, you know, in her video, you know, and the political system is anti-male. So men have to do with ourselves. And so what is happening now is that we are about to, enter, it has been almost four years, and we are about to enter what I think could be one of the most significant phases in all of this. Potentially, maybe not, but what I think really could be. And there are two significant things that are kicking off that are starting this Friday, coincidentally, on the same date, although I have to really wonder if it was a coincidence. Talk about that more in a moment. But the three-part major documentary that has been made about Marilyn Manson has been produced and it is now officially going to come out. It has been advertised by Paramount, Paramount Plus on their website. Marilyn Manson Unmasked is the name of the three-part documentary and it is coming out this Friday and it's, I know that it's going to at least be airing on Paramount Plus in Canada. That says a lot about my country, doesn't it guys? Now I want you to think about this. This is a documentary. How many people are involved? How much time and effort do they have to put together to make a knowing lie? The people involved with this know this is a lie. They know it. And that's why I say it's institutionalized. They're willing to tell a bold-faced lie. But it's not a simple telling it. They're, think how much effort and money they're putting into this. There's no money to be made in man hatred, but they're willing to expend it. People are willing to spend their time, effort, and wealth to attack innocent men. I want you to, you know, digest that. I don't know if it will be worldwide or not. It was only advertised for Canadian Paramount Plus, but... I'd be inclined to think that whether it comes out on the same day or the release is staggered, and so it, maybe it comes out a week from now in the U.S. officially or what have you, eventually within the next few weeks, it's going to come out worldwide. And I would imagine that as soon as it comes out this weekend, that there will This is what I'm talking about. Worldwide. You see, why this is so serious, one of the other reasons is that they have the blowhorns. Now, who supposed? What do we have in, in on our side? You know, Colonel Kurtz, who's at best neutral, even though she's not really. She's got less than a hundred thousand subscribers, and then there's guys like me who have only fifteen hundred. Men have to create their own megaphones, because if lies are told often enough, they're believed will be a number of journalists worldwide, particularly, certainly in the United States, who will be picking up on it and will be writing about it. And I really do think that this documentary has the potential to get a pretty significant amount of media coverage. Exactly. Again, the media are anti-male. The media is willing to spread the lie worldwide. Yes, Evan Rachel Wood already did. Evan Rachel Wood and Amy Berg already did a documentary, Phoenix Rising. It was only two parts. It was going to be about half the length of this one, by the way. I mean, three parts is significant. You know, the, the space. Again, guys, what I say, this is a prolonged lynching. They already had their lie documentary put out. It didn't work. So they're making another one. It's a prolonged lynching. They're going, they're going to go after this man until they get him. See, one was only one part, right? Or was it two? One or two? Russell Brand, one or two parts. Phoenix Rising, one or two parts. I mean, this is a three-part thing. They get, tried to get Russell Brand, too. Now, he's the same way. He scuttled out of it because he was innocent. So how come there isn't any legislation against this evil, right? Because good men do nothing. And take a look. Johnny Depp, Russell Brand. Why don't they get together with uh, Marilyn Manson and say, OK, we see what's going on. This has happened to you and you and now and it's happening to me. Let's work together. To put, you know, to change things for the better. No, they don't because they're, it's a typical male attitude. 
They're fighting against women. These guys would rather cut their balls off to pander to women. They don't want to see women as their enemy, and they don't care about the next guy. They just say, sorry, you're a fellow guy. I don't care about you. So that's this is what I'm talking about. They claim, the filmmakers claim, that they aspire in this to tell the whole complete story of Marilyn Manson. So his childhood, his rise, ups and downs of his career and personal life, and then, of course, settling in for, I'm sure, what will be the main focus, the allegations. Now. The lies. Yeah, the kill. The whole idea is that they want to try and, you know, display this idea that they're just neutral, right? Just looking at the facts before they deliver their killing blow. I know that there were a number, several people favorable to Manson who were interviewed by the filmmakers. And I know that they also bought 30 seconds of footage from my channel. I wish it would have been more. I had hopes that it would be more. And it doesn't bode well that it was only 30 seconds because it's probably just enough to make me look crazy or shady or something like that. You can pretty well 100% guarantee it. They're, they're going to be a smear campaign against you. And to malign me, probably. I'm probably, you know, I'm hoping that uh, I'm in this just because it might turn more people onto the truth or at least ex put me on their radar. And so then they'll look me up and say, oh, look at what she has to say about Marilyn Manson. But yeah, and this is your bread and butter. You're, will you're hoping that, because everyone, I've been watching this channel for quite, quite a couple of years at least. And she's maxed out at 89,000. I think last year she was 87. So she's reached her ceiling, right? Kurtz is hoping that her YouTube channel will take off and she doesn't have to work for a living. That's what's going on there. Probably it'll just be enough no. to, uh, to make me look bad, but whatever. But I do have some degree of hope that they will include Manson's side of things, but you know, while well, you're being very naive at this point, you've been involved with these lies for four years now. You've admitted it. So you're being naive. The reason why you're being naive is because you know you being a woman are immune to all this. You know, what one of the promos said that I read the last several months was that... Uh, you can afford to be naive. Something to the effect of... Um, but could it be a conspiracy? But some, I'm sorry, but some say it's a conspiracy. And it was like they had this whole long section, you know, describing the upcoming documentary and talking about the allegations and is he a monster and all that. But, but some say it's a conspiracy. I'm sure, using that word conspiracy, I'm sure that people like me and defenders of Manson and you will be painted as conspiracy theorists or stupid fan conspiracy theorists. But whatever, we'll see what happens. But I don't, I have... Very uh, low expectations for this. And I think it'll probably be. Well, I have very high expectation. That's exactly what they're going to do. Right. More or less a hit job. But it's a big three-part documentary. And I think the fact that it's not coming just from Evan Rachel Wood's perspective. And you know, her documentary. It's, it's not her perspective. She's lying. You have to say it right, Kurtz. They're supporting her lies. Well, again, Kurtz being a typical woman, she's never going to go all out. She has a stake in Rachel Evans or whatever Wood's name. Believe it or not. It's spent a lot of time on stuff that generally people aren't interested in, like legislation and you know, a lot of time on her activism legislation the phoenix act all of that don't don't call her activist you don't call the kkk activist so don't call these hate mongers activists again see how they use language it's always to paint these evil women in a positive light and then also on her early years her upbringing I mean, there was a significant portion of that Phoenix Rising show that was really just a vanity, a vanity project, you know, uh, expose on uh, Evan Rachel Wood, which I'm sure is one of the reasons why she did this whole thing, right? 
Well, actually, yes, but it's the secondary. The first reason is to have attack a man and harm him out of shits and giggles. That's the primary reason. And yes, her career was at the end. And you notice that's when these women really come out full feminist. Is when their careers are at the end point. Notice it didn't do anything for a career because it's over. So, but that's neither here nor there. If she gained a, a second wind for a career, that would just be garnish. Because all the effort is really just to harm Manson, a guy she once knew who was good to her. That's the actual motivation. It's, it's evil. It's sadism. That's the motivation behind Wood's efforts. But this this new project that's coming out Friday, for better or worse, we will see. But it's presenting itself as being more complete and more serious and more wide ranging. And this will have a number of new interviews, including I hear with Evan Rachel Wood, who I also hear is going to be introducing new allegations. So that says everything. Why would I, if this guy had actually Manson here and actually done to something to her, she would have put all of them at the beginning. She wouldn't have left them out. Right. So the new allegations are new lies. It's a prolonged lynching. It's a prolonged effort to get this man. This thing, I think, is going to get a lot of attention. And I think that it is going to restoke. It's possible it doesn't. It's possible, you know, again, like I, I've been surprised by how many people are, you know, are just over this and whatever. But I do think a major. Yeah, how many people don't care? They never cared. Right. Men don't care about other men. Three-part documentary. At the same time that Manson is going on tour, and he's, as you know, he's been having a successful tour, not only with Five Finger Death Punch, but also, also by himself headlining. I think that tour, Manson releasing new music, the fact that a couple of the songs that Manson has released seem to be speaking, I don't know, but seem to be speaking about the allegations against him and the people who've been lying, liars, and been very aggressive songs. I think that, together with his documentary, all of it, I think that it's going to get media attention. I think it's going to kick up new media attention. So we are entering here, you know, things have felt pretty stable. They have. Every now and then the, there was a story like, oh, Ashley Morgan Smith line, one of Manson's biggest accusers has flipped and now says the whole thing's a hoax, an illegal indictment, an illegal affidavit. I mean, those things have happened. There have been So if, if these women are turning on each other, how come Wood is still running around free? In developments that have gotten media interest for a day or two, but I do think that all of this coming together, particularly with a three-part documentary that is going to be released in a staggered way across the world, I do think that this could have a pretty significant impact in terms of media coverage. And so, y'all, what that means is that more than likely, there's going to be a lot of new shit and new mud being thrown at Manson and in his... Yeah, that's right. You see, you see guy, this is perpetual. Female nature is is perpetual. This is what they are. And that's why this is going on. Men always have this vain hope that they stop the attack this time. Maybe it, the woman will learn. But the woman has learned. She knows she, all she has to do is continually come at you and eventually she will get you. It's very simple. his reputation and also i think there you know there are a lot of people still who don't even really know what manson is accused of and there have been a number of people who've been able to just sort of shrug it off even like um like yeah like again again people don't care they don't care about justice for man Reba Meyer's statement of support to him basically saying, I'm not saying she doesn't know, but her statement in support of him was like, yeah, we're, you know, I, I'm, I want to support forgiveness and turning the page or whatever. And it's like, um, I think that she wants to, to support forgiveness, right? 
If she was really on Manson's side, she'd be saying, I am supporting uh, criminal uh, action against these liars. That would be support. But those kinds of statements lead people to think that whatever Manson was accused of, oh, it was just some kind of like, you know, minor harassment or whatever. And now he's he's not drinking anymore and he's, you know, and we, we can forgive him. But like actually the things that he was accused of by a number of these women, including Evan Rachel Wood, were like it was really serious, like la laughably monstrous stuff that there's no way that he did that sounds like it just comes from bad fan fiction because it was. Okay, so if these lies have been supposedly exposed, how come they're still going on? Because they've never been exposed. The media is anti-male. It's anti-male is institutionalized. And so there is, again, there's no trumpet for men to hear that, to have, you know, their side told. The lies are going to continually be told until people believe them. And so I just wonder when this documentary comes out and it's going to really, really hit hard on these monstrous, we know, completely fictitious, crazy, loony allegations that have been discredited. But these monstrous allegations, it's going to hit really hard. And I just wonder now if there's going to be a lot more renewed coverage or media interest about well, what exactly is he accused of, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. And so that's going to happen. And, you know, Evan Rachel Wood and the others, they have been pretty quiet until recently, although Esme Bianco recently was pictured at a speaking at a rally with California State Senator Susan Rubio. And then Evan Rachel Wood popped out last week to rag on Manson a bit, trying to associate him or bl with something or blame him for something that happened recently that had nothing to do with him. And so my point is, I thought maybe these ladies had had enough and they had seen no it why would they have enough of doing the stuff they love to do guys you must understand these women love doing this they're not in getting into a boxing match getting beaten up and coming back for more these girls are really loving what they're doing the the average modern woman does not have to work for a living how how is wood making her money I don't know. She can get a boyfriend anytime, leech off him anytime. A Kurtz is doing it with her boyfriend, right? She's got a YouTube channel while she, her boyfriend is out working, right? Very standard. So their lives are on easy mode, cheat mode, actually. And then they can turn around and, and just do the stuff they like. Rachel Wood probably plans with her friend how to get Manson. And they, they laugh about all the things they can do while they're probably just uh, having drinks and doing whatever their favorite drug says are, right? And that's it. You know, they're, they're living the good life. There's nothing for them to learn. They've already learned it. They learned it. Do, do what you like, do what you love and enjoy it. And that's what they're doing that this hoax is sort of blown up in their faces and they they were going to go away but it doesn't seem like they are so i just wonder now with this documentary giving them some support if they're going to be on the war path again again maybe not but i just wonder that and so then also not coincidentally i think you have this friday you have the first protest feminist activist protest there you go. Thank you for admitting this is feminist and they're not activist. Do you consider the KKK an activist group? Kurtz, do you? If you don't, then don't use that word for them. Of Marilyn Manson at one of his concerts. And so this is going to take place in Anaheim which is the closest that he's going to get to L.A. And so I think that they're driving out from L.A. and busing people out from L.A., busing out activists and so forth. But you're going to have a number of quote-unquote feminist activists. and It's not quote-unquote. They are feminist. Even some California state lawmakers, politicians. Um, the woman who's in charge of the... Politicians, there you go, guys. What I say. Man hatred is 
institutionalized on the political level. This Caroline Heldman, she is good friends with Gavin Newsom's wife, and she is friends with and has been pictured with Evan Rachel Wood, Esme Bianco. Um, I know that Bianca Kine, one of Manson's accusers, probably one of the most ridiculous ones who even discredited herself in a podcast that she did where she refuted her own story prior to changing. Right. So all these documentary makers would know this. So they are criminals. They're willing to uh, damage a man's reputation. Slander. They're slanderers. The people, everyone involved in making that documentary are slanderers. But whatever. Uh, Bianca Kine spoke at a city council meeting a couple of weeks ago to try to get Manson, to try along with Caroline Heldman and some of these others, to get Manson banned from Anaheim and from ever performing in the vicinity again. So maybe she'll be there. I don't know. But it is being... No. See how committed these women are. These feminist women are. Or should you say women? They're, no matter, even though she says it blew up in their face, but it didn't really blow up in their face. It simply, the, the air was let out of the balloon. It just failed. But they know all they have to do is just keep trying and trying. Eventually it'll work. If no one's fighting back, you know, the strongest castle in the world will not work unless someone's shooting arrows from the balconies. Eventually it's going to crumble. Someone's going to find a weak point and get in. This is a very simple stratagem. Now advertised online, and I, I think that probably in terms of sheer numbers, I think it's going to be very unimpressive, just like the Rammstein protest in Germany. Oh, yeah, there was another one, Rammstein. You guys may not know that. I've never heard of Rammstein. She brought him up. Another musician, celebrity that was lied about, right? Proven to be innocent, right? And these feminist women are willing to show up and and raise a stink. So it's it's a never ending process. The only thing that's going to stop these dogs is going to have them put down. In other words, jailed. They have to be exposed as liars and jailed. Many a while back were very unimpressive and were laughable. But you know how it is with the media. They don't need... It's not laughable. This is serious shit. It's like someone continually trying to break into your house and failing, but they're continually trying. That's a serious threat. For there to actually be... 200 activists or a thousand activists or what have you they just need enough to fit in the frame of their camera lens so that it, it can make it they can make it look like exactly you don't need thousands you just need enough to fit in the camera frame thank you for admitting this kurtz and the only way this would work if if the media was on their side if the media supported slander knowingly the media is willing to commit criminal acts of slander against innocent men how is that not institutionalized there were a lot of people there and so in that sense it doesn't really matter if there are 30 activists that show up or if there are 300 in the sense that it's going to be promoted by the media and by these activists the same way. So, you know, this is the first time since Manson has come back. Okay, I think we've heard enough. Because this is what you need to understand, guys. What she's talking about involves you and me. This is a gendered issue. And also all you guys, all you black pillars, who go on about the chads. These women are after the male celebrities. There is no Chad. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's all about being male. 
There's not a specific group of guys that are immune to any of this shit. The apathy has to end. There's got to be some male solidarity and a political movement, an actual MRM, not this fake stuff we've got now, an actual MRM that works on a political level like they do in South Korea that was successful, right? South Korean men worked together on a political level, got a male politician willing to support them and give a voice. They got the megaphones, so eventually they're going to tell the lie often enough until everyone believes it, and it becomes the truth. So this is why good men have to work together against this. Evil grows when good men do nothing. Perfect example right here. Thank you, everyone.